Hello folks, this is uh, 2019 May June paper 2-3 and the question number is 3. So now since uh, our exams are approaching, I'll be focusing on paper 2 and uh, 5 as well in addition to 1. While I have done uh, most of the difficult questions of paper 1, which appeared in May June 19, now I'll be doing those questions of 2 and 5. So one such question is, this uh, it says uh, a cylindrical disc of uh, mass 0 0.25 kg so mass 0 0.25 kg this is uh, m m and a uh, circular cross sectional area a a uh, as shown in figure 3.1 so this is that disc the disc is on the horizontal ground as shown in figure 3.2 a force x of magnitude uh, 8.9 newton so this uh, fx is equal to this f at x is equal to uh, 8.9 newton acts on the disc in a direction of uh, 90 to the horizontal the disc moves at a constant speed of uh, 0 0.60 meter per second so this is v along the ground so the disc is moving like this and uh, the force is acting like this so it's somewhat like this uh, if i have this calculator here i apply force like this not not like this or not like this i apply force like this and still it moves like this so it has got certain angle here you can see certain angle here angle like this so, so now what you have to do is determine the rate of doing work on the disc by the force x. So we have to find the rate of work done by this force, uh, this force on the disc. So in order that we find the rate or the power, the formula is power is equal to f into f into displacement into cos of theta into cos of theta, and this theta should be the angle formed between the directions of f and s. So for that, I have to produce this thing here, this thing here. So the angle between this uh, force, force and this uh, displacement S is equal to this theta. So theta is equal to, this angle is vertically opposite to this. So it's equal to 30 degrees. So it should be, so force equal to 8.9 into S is, uh, sorry, this is velocity actually. So I forgot, velocity. Velocity is uh, 0 0.60 into cos 30 cos theta is cos of 30 degrees so if i do the calculations the value will be somewhat like this so it is uh, 30 uh, 30 cos sorry 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 a uh, cos uh, 30 30 into 0.6 into 8.9 equal to so this comes to be 4.6 so it is 4.6 to what so it is 4.62 when I use uh, when I use uh, three significant figures. Now this force uh, x x and the weight of the disc weight of the disc which is over here exert a combined pressure on the ground of this much. So the combined pressure is this. So here we have two forces uh, acting here. One is the weight weight of course, and the other is the vertical component of this force. The other is the let me draw it here the vertical component of uh, this thing this thing so this thing is 8.9 newton this thing and the other is the vertical component so this component should be equal to equal to so it should be equal to since we have an uh, angle is over here the angle is over here so let me draw it uh, here let me draw it here so this is the force x force x we are given this angle now, this angle means that this angle so it is a 30 degree here 30 degree and I have to find this component, this component. So this component should be equal to, this is 8.9 Newton. So this force is equal to force down, down due to X is equal to 8.9 into sine of 30 degrees. So here it is a cos 30 and here it should be sine 30. The other is a, uh, the other is a um, uh, weight of the disc. So weight is equal to, m into g equal to m is uh, uh, 0 0.24 into g is 9.81 so what it says is this force and this force create a pressure this so we have got we have got a uh, uh, force equal to pressure into area or i can say area is equal to force by pressure that's equal to force the total of these things total of these things so 8.9 sine of 30 degree plus 0 0.24 into 9.81 whole divided the pressure is at 3500 
so it should be equal to equal to so first we have 8.9 into uh, uh, sine 30 equal to uh, plus so it should be 0.24 into 9.81 bracket equal to whole divided 3500 so this becomes equal to so the cross section is equal to 1.94 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square so i can write it as 1.94 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter square now Newton's third law describes how forces exist in pairs of course yes one such pair is of forces is the weight of the disc weight of the disc and another force y so state the direction of force y so the uh, weight of the disc acts downward acts downward so the other force or its reaction pair should be acting upward acting upward so i can write it as upward upward then the name of that force should be should, should be name of the for, uh, name of the body on which the force w y acts so weight w is acted by earth on this body so that means the reaction force should be acted by this body on earth let me repeat that the weight is the force acted by earth on this body so if so the other force should be the force acted by this body on earth so the body on which force y acts is it is the earth here it is the earth so this is the final answer